yeah good day this is Shibuzagwa once again and you're welcome to blogging for tech channel yes first of all i'd like to wish you happy new year yes happy 2021 we are in new year already um before we proceed let me give you the topic of today in this video i'll be showing you how to disable automatic updates in windows 10 permanently yes if you're one of those that wants to let me say conserve your data um, watching this video will be of immense help for you because I'll be showing you the current procedure in 2021 on how to disable automatic updates in Windows 10. Uh, without much from our do, uh, first of all, before we head to the methods, I would like you to hit the subscription button if you are visiting this channel for the first time. Yes, um, the channel name is Blogging for Tech, and like you all know, we are giving you current information on. Uh, the information technology world, yes, is all about how tools, tutorials, and how to carry out some functions technologically related, either be from your PC, laptop, or your Android devices, and also give you current updates in the technology world as a whole. Um, before we proceed, yes, let me like tell you, um, we have two methods, so you have to do two important things if you want to disable a Windows 10 updates, automatic update permanently on your device and um, like you all know the main reason you like to disable is you like you uh, periodically or let me say almost every day on a daily basis windows normally releases updates and they do automatically updates even while you are carrying out some other functions and maybe that's the more reason why uh, you know during the updates um, your internet network might tend to slow or maybe you're the kind of person you want to conserve let me say your data that has been allocated to you for a month or for a week you want to conserve it and you know that the um the file size of each update is very very large you have some files that are up to four gigabytes three gigabytes and the likes but it's important for you to also stop the updates because uh i don't really know because i've stopped mine for some while and i don't see any glitches on my pc but like you know the it is not advisable to pause the updates yes because uh, there are many features that have been updated by Microsoft. So, having this in mind, that you still want to continue to disable automatic updates, let us go with the step. Now, the first thing you have to do, you have to meet your internet connection. Yes, and yes, you have to meet your internet connection because updates hardly occur on metered connection. And to do that, you, on the search bar, yes, we have to go to settings you have to go to settings then and then you go to network and internet uh this is my connection is that you know i'm connected already through a hotspot my wi-fi so you click on the connection itself it depend on yours i don't know mine and name it read me yeah so you now go to advanced options as you can see I've already metered mine. So if you have limited data plan, I want more control over your data usage. Make this connection a metered network. Some apps might work differently to reduce data usage when you're connected to this network. Which means you can see if you want to conserve your data, that's the main purpose. And once you set your connection, be it a Wi-Fi or uh, a Wi-Fi or hotspot in your home, once you set it to metered connection, it will be quite difficult for windows to update so that's the first thing you'll do but in some cases you observe that it still updates when you set it on metered when you metered your connection but it's been updating slowly and at the same time hindering your pace while using the your laptop and at the same time consuming your data so you after you might have metered your connection there's still something you have to do and which will automatic i mean which will permanently dis um, disable automatic updates of your windows 10 so now let's go to the main function once you still go to the search bar and type services dot msc then you hit then you search and the pop-up window will appear which shows your administrative tools now what you do you have to scroll to the portion where you see windows update and to do that just have it in mind that they are arranged in alphabetical order so you have to scroll to where you have w yeah this is w then you also have to scroll to here we see yes this is windows update yeah so what you do you have to double click it then after double clicking you can see that i've already disabled mine from this portion 
and um, if you've not disabled yours what you see what you meet at first is either it will be on automatic automatic which is default settings or manual but what i'll advise you to do is to select disable and after doing that we click on apply then you wait for it to apply then you tap on ok yes once you've done this you've permanently disable automatic updates on your wisdom uh, on your windows 10 then you close then you check you also check maybe after doing this but just bear it in mind that you permanently disabled it and there will be no automatic updates on your pc and like i've said from the start um it might not be advisable if you're the type that you're conservative you want updates on your on your various softwares and your laptop on your windows defender your security and whatsoever i will advise you not to carry this out but if you don't care or if it doesn't bother you can easily carry out this function to disable with the update automatic update so with that we've come to the end of the video and like you already know chief is your ago remains my name i'm blogging for tech is the channel so if you find this information useful or you're confused in any part you can as in drop your comments in the comment section if there is any place you need clarification just drop your comment and say hey triple zero this and that and i will gladly speedily give you a reply and before you leave if you've not subscribed to this channel i'd like you to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you'll be the first to get notified whenever i release similar videos just like this so triple zero agora remains the name i'm blogging for tech is the channel so bye bye we'll see you in the next video see ya